on September 9, 2021, I'm looking here, uh, 15 students stood up against mass mandates at Gaylord High School in Gaylord, Michigan. 15 students on September the 9th. So I'm guessing this was Thursday, right? The 9th, today's the 12th. Okay. The next day, that crowd turned to 65 students. 65 students. Just looking at this thing here. What the hell? 65 students the next day. Teachers didn't make a scene at first, but when it turned into a big crowd of 65 students, the teachers started getting the police involved. The students were taken to a commons area. They were then threatened with suspension and, th and threatened with the police action for trespassing. Okay. This happened at Gaylord High School here in Michigan, which is about a little over two hour drive north of where I live. So, two things happened this day. Well, first off, I want to say the students, I applaud them for standing up for their rights against a tyrannical school system. They refused to wear a mask. 65 students, they stood up against tyrants. Let's get one thing straight. straight. Public school, our tax dollars, that is public property. You do not have the right to kick them off public property when they're to get an education and not breaking the law. You can't trespass, trespass somebody from public property. You can't. Unless they are breaking the law, which they were not. Mass mandates are not laws. They're mandates. The only thing I know that's a mandate is two gay guys going on a date. That's all the only thing I know that I understand is a mandate. Okay? And I don't do man dates. I do female dates. Okay? Because I want to get that clear. Students' rights in Gaylord High School, they were violated. Once again, we have the police not following the Constitution and violating people's rights. The police got involved with this situation. I'm not sure what happened to the students. They were threatened with suspension. As far as I know, they haven't been suspended yet. I don't know. But once again, we have the police violating people's rights, following their masters because they want their fucking paycheck and decided, hey, you know, I can't do this. This is against the oath I took. Whatever police officers were involved with this, Gaylord's not that big of a town. It's a few thousand people. It ain't, it ain't that big. It's a. It's it's what you what 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 I would what I would call a small big town or a how do I say this? I mean, it's not like a. Uh, you drive through it and well, what the hell was that? Was that the town back there? Oh, that was it. Not that, but it's. It's a bigger, small town, I should say. It's about a few, I don't know, half hour north of Grayling. But anyway, Gaylord. We're off the I-75. Um, so any police officer that was involved in this violated the oath. Um, they should be immediately, immediately terminated for violating the oath. Any teacher that was involved in this should be terminated for, uh, you know... doing what they did. You notice I never wear, never fly a blue line flag. I have a blue line flag. I think I flew it like once, and that was a long time ago. I put that thing, oh, I didn't burn it, but I put that thing in a cardboard box, and it's sitting there in the storage, collecting dust, until I decide to bring it back out. And right now, I don't feel like fucking bringing it out. Now's not the time for this. Because now we got the police. They, oh, I gotta get my paycheck. Forget the Constitution. Forget that I took an oath to the Constitution. I need my paycheck. Instead of, you know, upholding the oath. So now there's a protest. Monday, September 20th. Pretty much a call to action. <laughs> At the high school, in solidarity with these students. Honestly, I think we should go to the police station and protest for them violating their oath. That's what I think. 
And for all you motherfuckers out there, that's public property. Gaylord High School. I stand with these students. I'm glad that we have got some freedom fighters on a teenage level. I'm glad we do. Nowadays it doesn't seem like it, but we do. We got 65 brave students. The 15 brave are really stand, or starting to stand up, and then the 50 follow. But I, I encourage you to be a leader, not a follower. Not trying to bash the other 50 students. But we got 65 students that said, enough, we're standing up to this crap. And I applaud every one of them, every one of those 65 students. Male, female, whatever, whatever, I don't care. So, that's that. And I will see you Monday, September 20th. Peace.